Alright people, welcome back to Fake Card Friday. So this person said, Shadal, you got power creep. Let's help you out with that and then created this card. So let's see if this card actually was created. Would that help Shadal uh, com combat the meta and come back and be a tier 1 deck again? So this is Ulti Shadal Resurgence Roots. It is a light level, what level is that? 11, I think? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, level 11. Fiend Fusion Effect Monster with 3450 attack. So nice attack and 2950 defense. So nice defense, too. No? She's, she's got that attack and that D. Hello? <laughs> she's got the big booty. All right. So uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. It, it, with the materials are, but the the person who created the card actually changed it. So we're gonna go with the go ahead and go with the chain stacks with uh not changing the card. I mean, you know, changing it out in the card. So it is actually made with one non dark Shadal monster. All right, so pretty much one of the fusions that's not Winda. So Construct, Shikinaga, Gristal, Windingo, Amalilith, one of the, one of them, because it has to be a non dark Shadal monster or core. Or core, you know, uh, or can you use Neptune off fusion with that? I'm not sure. Do you like equip and then change the type or you like, I can't remember how some Neptune off fusion works. So I should probably look that up because I cannot remember how that card works. Like, do you, I think you call a type and it becomes that type, right? Let's see. Neptune off fusion, as it is by declaring one attribute equipped to a shell monster, it becomes Neptune. All right. So you can. So you can go ahead and uh, use, so summon a Shadal monster, equip it with Nef Shadal Fusion, and change its attribute to be a non-dark. But uh, the problem with that is that you can't freaking Shadal Fusion into this card because you don't, and you don't, you know, from your deck, because you don't have a non-dark Shadal monster in your deck because they're all dark. So, yeah. Plus one dark Shadal monster, all right, so pretty much almost any Shadal monster. Plus one or more non-dark monsters with different attributes. That doesn't make any sense. So, so one non-dark shadow monster, one dark shadow monster, and then one or more non-dark monsters with different attributes. So, it I mean it can be a shadow monster, but it has to be non-dark, like one or more non-dark. All right, with different attributes. Uh, I don't even think that shadows can summon this. This is very difficult to summon. Very fucking difficult. You gotta go. You gotta go. Summon a Shadal monster. Equip it with Nef Shadal Fusion. Hopefully nothing happens because Nef Shadal Fusion is really not that good because there's a lot of opening. Turn it to a non-dark you Fuse with it a dark Shadal monster and then one or more non-dark monsters with different attributes than the ones that you which had to be different attributes so one or more but it can be one. So so but it can't be dark. So you gotta have like an additional monster in your hand, like maybe like like you know a light monster, maybe a mathematician or something. It takes a lot to summon this, and it's a lot of work. So let's go ahead and see whether it is worth it. I mean, the stats are good, but God, it's a lot of work. It is card fusion summon. Your opponent cannot activate a monster effect, so monster effects for the rest of the turn. Okay, well, I mean they shouldn't really be planning on activating monster effects during your turn unless they got something that's you know, you know, spell speed two. Because you're probably going to be summoning this during, uh, you know, your turn. The way that, you know, like I said, that's pretty much the only way. I mean, unless you have El Shadal Fusion and you have a non-Shadal, a non-Dark Shadal. Like, if you have, like, a Construct on the field and you can go El Shadal Fusion fuse my Construct with a Shadal Monster in my hand with a non-Dark Monster in my hand to summon this. Then your opponent can activate uh, Monster Effects for the rest of the turn during their turn. Then that's pretty good. But uh, besides that, I mean, it's just, this card's really difficult to get out. You know, this card is removed from the field. You can banish all... Wait. This card is removed from the field. You can banish all one El Shadal monsters from your graveyard. Set one Shadal card from your your hand, deck, or graveyard. Okay. So pretty much... This card will be fulfilled. You can banish all El Shadal. All. Why does it say banish all one? It doesn't make any sense. Uh, unless you're just saying, I mean, you can banish all El Shadal monsters in your graveyard, then you can set one Shadal card from your hand, deck, or graveyard. Yeah, I mean, 
At least you get something, but you gotta ban like all your star monsters in your graveyard? Like, okay, I mean, I guess. <sighs> to set one Shadal card, so it could be a monster, it could be a spell or a trap, go ahead and set it from your hand deck or graveyard. Eh, okay. When it's from, when this card's removed from field. So, as long as um, it doesn't become an XC material, you should get this effect. Alright, it's not done though. Once per turn, you can activate one of these effects. The first effect. Shuffle three Shadal cards from your graveyard into your deck, draw one card. So it has kind of like a Dagoosta Arnold effect. So you take three from your graveyard, shuffle back into your deck, draw one. I really don't see how this kind of combats the meta and makes the deck even better, but okay. Then the second effect. Destroy a number of spell or trap cards on the field up to the number of non-dark monsters with different attributes used to feature some of this card. So, I guess that's the, that's why it says one or more, because you can fuse with multiple non-dark monsters with different attributes, and then you get to pop that many spell traps, so, no, I mean, sure, you get to pop multiple spell traps, as long as you use more than one non-dark monster with different attributes, so, you know, they should, they should have said, you know, non shadal because only, I guess, it could be, you know, another fusion, but it's really weird. Overall, uh, no, no. This card's really difficult to get out. It's not really worth the effort. Its effects aren't that good, and I just don't understand how this card helps Shadal, you know, combat the power creep at all. Like, at freaking all. So, yeah. Nope, not at all. You know, it, it's, it's difficult to get out. It's 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 removed from field effect slash graveyard effect because instead of being sent to the graveyard, it's just removed from the field. So you know, if it gets castelled, it still gets its effect. If it gets compulsed, it still gets its effect. You know, as long as it doesn't get turned into an extreme material, you will get its effect. So um, to go ahead and banish all of your um, Shadal monsters in your graveyard, to go ahead and uh, set a Shadal card from your hand deck or graveyard is eh. the uh, maybe I mean the the uh, Dagustar Emerald effect. Doesn't really help. I mean, it helps you recycle, but eh, no. And then you destroy a number of cards. I mean, it's number of set spell trap, a number of uh, spell trap cards on the field, up to the number of non dark monsters with different attributes that you use to fuse on this card. You're probably going to use one, so you get to pop one card. So you either get to shovel three back and draw, or you get to pop like one, maybe two cards. I just don't see how this card helps Shadal. I, I don't even understand how this card even is a Shadal. Because usually Shadals have something to do with special summoning. But this card is like, nah, nah. I have nothing to do with special summoning. I'm just another Shadal card. You know, I no. This card, if this card existed, this card wouldn't help Shadals with the power creep at all. So, tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. So we'll be back next Friday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys next Friday with another card to look at. Alright guys, thanks for watching.